Yo, Jude. So, Jude. So, Sam. Lots of people have Blackberries. Very, very popular device, Sam. Lots of people use music on iTunes on their computer. Another very popular thing. Yes, getting the two to work together, however, tricky. It's been hard over the years. BlackBerry actually has its own program called MediaSync. That MediaSync. has been around for a while, and it's there just to move your iTunes music or your Windows Media Player music on your BlackBerry. Sounds pretty simple. How does it work? Um, well, first of all, you have to install the software. Okay. So uh, you can get it in a couple of ways. Right. Uh, you can either, um, if you have the latest version of the desktop software. It's already included? Yeah, it, it comes there. Or and if I have like an older BlackBerry. Yeah, and you just want to download this one little piece. Right. You just go to blackberry.com slash mediasync. Okay. And say, you know, click to download PC software and it downloads the program, you install it, and then you're almost ready to go. It depends on your BlackBerry model, but you may need to add an extra memory card to hold all of this glorious music that's going to be taken. The around. BlackBerry itself doesn't have enough memory. Yes, it depends on the model. Some have some onboard memory, some don't. And what kind of memory card are you going to use for that? Micro SD. Micro SD. Now, so, I've heard of SD cards, and micro SD cards, I know, are a little small. Wow, micro, super yes. small. Pop open this little metal flap here. That looks incredibly fragile. Yeah, it's a. Okay. Uh, Little delicate operation here, right, but just right. gently so slide the not card for in. Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. So slide the back on. Slide the back on. Now I guess what you have to do next is you want to connect it yes. to your computer, yeah. which you're going to use one of these. Yes, data cable. Data cable. Now I see this here is your standard USB. Yeah, regular old flat USB port. And you got your micro USB. Micro USB. Micro SD. Mm -hmm. Everything's micro. Yeah, because okay. it's small, convenient, portable. Great. Now, I know these are found in lots of different devices, right? I mean, Yeah, you can... cameras, MP3 players. A lot of places will use the, the micro uh, USB cord. And they're pretty interchangeable. I mean, um, most of them are. The, the pins on the inside could be slightly different depending on the device. So and now then, what you're going to do is everything else happens pretty much on the PC. On the PC, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to, um, after you've installed the uh, MediaSync software, right. you just fire it up. BlackBerry MediaSync. There it is. Just hit launch. And uh, what you're going to do is this is going to give you a little peek into your iTunes library. What you, can, what you can do when you see this is just say, hey, I want this album, I want this playlist. You just check it off that mm -hmm. you're going to synchronize it. And that's going to automatically, like if you change anything on those playlists later on yeah, when on you iTunes, it'll update it with the new material. Yes, yes. You, you just sync it okay. again and it brings over the new stuff. So it's kind of like iTunes. Yeah. You just right. hit sync. Now let me ask you this, Jude. Okay. Um, can I import any song I have on iTunes into my BlackBerry? You are going to have some problems with the copy protected songs ah, that you may right. have purchased from the iTunes store. Anything I purchased from the iTunes store, up until a couple of months ago, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. April 2009, they took off uh, the DRM or the copy protection that right. stopped you from playing the music on a certain number of devices. But the thousands of songs yes. I have purchased over the many years yes. are still yeah, they're still kind locked, locked up. Yeah, anything yeah. from April 2003 to April 2009, roughly that's <sighs> six years of your life of music buying. So is there anything I can do about that? Uh, there's a sneaky little workaround you can do. Burn the music to an audio CD through uh -huh. iTunes. Right. Take that audio CD, re-rip it back, oh. then move it over. Pretty so sneaky, it's not sis. the easiest thing. You're going around the block to get your music. Right. But it's a way, or the other way, uh, which Apple would probably prefer that you do, mm. is to um, upgrade your music library. Oh, yeah, for like $100. Yeah, they generously offer to uh, mm. upgrade you know, your DRM music to iTunes Plus, which is the copy protection free version of the music. Why am I always giving more money to Apple? Because it's so easy. Mm.